Look at the nations and watch and be utterly amazed for God is going to do something in your days that you would not believe even if you were told. God is raising up the Babylonians. Friends, might we all listen to the words of God here in Habakkuk and look at the nations and watch and be utterly amazed. For God is going to do something in our days right now that you would not believe even if we were told. We know in Revelation chapter 17 and 18 we see the fall of Babylon. In Revelation chapter 14 the angels declaring the second message in the eternal gospel say Babylon is fallen. fallen. Ah, but here in Habakkuk God shows us the rising of the Babylonians. He says that ruthless and impetuous people who sweep across the whole earth to seize dwellings not their own. Yes, they're a bunch of thieves. They are feared and dreaded people. They are a law to themselves and promote their own honor. Their horses are swifter than leopards, fiercer than wolves at dusk. Their cavalry gallops headlong. Their horsemen come from afar. They fly like an eagle swooping to devour. They all come intent on violence. Their hordes advance like a desert wind and gather prisoners like the sand. They mock kings and scoff at rulers. They laugh at the fortified cities. By building earthen ramps, they capture, capture them. Then they sweep past like the wind and go on. A guilty people whose own strength is their God. You, Lord, have appointed them to execute judgment. You, my rock, have ordained them to punish. You have made people like fish in the sea, like sea creatures that have no ruler. The wicked foe pulls all of them up with hooks. He catches them in his net and gathers them up in his dragnet. And so he rejoices and is glad. Therefore, he sacrifices to his net and burns incense to his dragnet. For by his net he lives in luxury and enjoys the choicest food. Is he to keep on emptying his net and destroying nations without mercy? Then the Lord replied, Write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. For the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end and will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. See, the enemy is puffed up. His desires are not upright. But the righteous person will live by his faithfulness. Indeed, wine betrays him. He is arrogant and never at rest, because he is as greedy as the grave, and like death is never satisfied. He gathers to himself all the nations and takes captive all the peoples. Yes, in Revelation we clearly see the end of Babylon. Ah, but in Habakkuk God shows us the rise of the Babylonians. As Babylon rises, God's invitation at Revelation 18.4 will become clearer and clearer. Come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins, so that you will not receive any of her plagues. This is not an invitation to the nations or to the world. This counsel is directed to God's people, the house of Israel, the seven congregations. Come out of her, my people. Come out of her, my people. In Jesus' name, amen.